Before former President Donald Trump left office, he signed a few pardons. Uh, now those pardons ended up going to grifters, criminals, allies, and those, of course, who could afford to pay off Rudy Giuliani to the tune of about $2 million. Uh, but none of that notice went to any of his most fervent supporters, uh, supporters like 33-year-old Capitol rioter Jacob Chansley, better known as the QAnon shaman. Uh, so, you know, his picture is, is very, very iconic. Uh, everybody knows the QAnon shaman. I mean, you know, I, it, look at it. Look at it. Okay, anyway. So now, QAnon shaman is not, is not doing well today. Uh, in fact, he's very, very mad at the president. Uh, according to his lawyer, he feels as though the president had misled him into believing that he would end up getting a pardon for playing his role in the Capitol insurrection. Uh, in an interview with local news station KSDK, attorney Al Watkins said that Chanley regrets his actions, he's got, he's got regrets, uh, and then feels duped by the president's claims that the 2020 election was stolen. So, so wait, okay, I regret it, I'm sorry, I regret it, I didn't mean it, you know, I just, I just kind of got, just kind of got swept up in the moment, you know, listening to a, to a fascist. So I just, I just kind of, you know, it just happened. I got duped. What are you going to do? Um, quote, he regrets very, very much having not just been duped by the president, but by being in a position where he allowed that duping to put him in a position to make decisions he should not have made. Mm. Look, duped. Oh yeah. Totally duped. Incited. Definitely. Absolutely. So now Watkins is making his case and understand that this is, you know, Chansley's lawyer. Uh, and he's going to try to get to, you know, do the best representation that he can to try to shift the blame as far away from Chansley as he can. Understand that that's, that's totally his job. Okay. Uh, but here's what he's doing. He is pointing to the mountain of false claims made by the president, uh, former president, after, since, after the election was called for uh, Biden in November as proof that his client sincerely believed that he was trying to fight what was presented as being a grave injustice towards Donald Trump. Uh, here's what he said, quote, let's roll the tape. Let's roll the months of lies and misrepresentations and horrific innuendo and hyperbolic speech by our president designed to inflame, enrage, motivate. Hey, it, you know, as far as the defense, that, that's, that's a really good, I think that's gonna be a really good defense. Because there is that tape, it absolutely exists, and he had been fanning the flames. He also said, what's really curious is the reality that our president, as a matter of public record, invited these individuals, as president, to walk down to the Capitol with him. And he actually did say that. Let's walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. We got to fight, or else we're not going to have a country anymore. That's exactly what I said or what he said. And so, you know, I, I do kind of wonder if this, if this case itself, especially if it ends up getting, you know, maybe Chansley like a reduced sentence or, or, or whatever, well, I wonder if it could be used as evidence against Donald Trump in the upcoming impeachment trial, which would be really interesting because right now you have all these right-wingers, these insurrectionists, uh, that are saying, oh, no, it wasn't me. It was, it was him. It was him. He did it. He did it. I was acting on his orders. I really thought that there was voter fraud uh, because he just kept saying it. He just kept saying it. Well, I mean, that would be a pretty damning uh, uh, indictment of the president, of the former president. Uh, but, of course, it does go both ways, too. Donald Trump's lawyers could easily say that these people are just blaming Donald Trump because, well, they want to save their own skin. And, you know... It, it, the, the not plausible deniability. It's, it was them. It was them. They made me do it. You know, I was not in control of myself. And then that could be a good argument against them for Donald Trump. Uh, but at the same time, we know the president incited these people, no doubt. It is, it is, a, it is a phenomenon called stochastic terrorism. Uh, I've give you the, uh, given you the definition before. I'll give it to you again. That is defined by the public demonization of a person or a group that results in the incitement of a violent act, which is statistically probable, as in you know this incitement is eventually going to lead to something, but whose specifics cannot be predicted. 
we couldn't actually predict that this that this was going to play down, uh, you know, play out the way that it was going to. Although, to be fair, we did have a lot of warnings as well. That January 6th, January 6th, this is going to happen. There's going to be something that goes down at the Capitol. We don't know what. And the Capitol Police were uh, uh, n not prepared on purpose, by the way. They purposely caught themselves off guard. Uh, and it even helped uh, some of these rioters get into the Capitol, took selfies with them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and so, but again, it's that it's that stochastic terrorism. Uh, oh, you, they're going to steal the election. They're going to steal it. If I lose, it's it's because it's rigged. If, if Donald Trump loses, it's because they stole it. They can't, they couldn't win an election with Sleepy Joe. And you, what are you talking about? He can't fill up an auditorium during a pandemic. But yeah. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, he can't. Because it's a pandemic. Did they did they never like think about that? Is that, is that is that something that's like, well, you know, Democrats actually believe in the virus, so they're not going to go to a campaign rally, you know, for Joe Biden, who's not really going to hold campaign rallies anyway. It's all going to be like virtual stuff, and so yeah. And, and look, like, not only that, but I didn't really find, uh, and a lot of people I don't think really found Joe Biden especially exciting. This was a, to me, this, this was a referendum election against Donald Trump. So, but anyway, uh, you know, they, they kept still saying that, like, oh, you got to do something. If you don't fight, we're not going to have a country. You can't, Donald Trump has said, you can't let them do this to me. He didn't explicitly call for them to grab their arms and go and invade the Capitol, except that that's still the result of saying, oh, you got to fight for me. Oh, you got to challenge them on January 6th. You got to stop the certification, you know, and you had these, uh, you had these congressmen uh, that were also planning to, to stop, to try to stop the certification. And they were in on it as well. But again, that's incitement. There was definitely incitement. Now, here's the other thing, right? The president did say it, did incite people. But, like, the guys actually did it. They followed through. They, they didn't have to do this. They didn't, ha they didn't have to believe the president on this. They didn't have to storm the Capitol building. Uh, they made a conscious decision. Whether they were duped with bad information or not, they did the crime. So they're going to have to take some personal responsibility. I, I guess, you know, you know... I mean, when it is with insurrection, I mean, you know, I, I guess I, apparently... Hey, you're on, you're on your own, man, says Donald Trump. I mean, isn't it amazing how this entire thing kind of fell apart? How quickly it is? I mean, Donald Trump just showed everybody exactly who he is. And now for some, that realization is, is starting to sink in. Now, for others, uh, there's some trolls in my chat. Like, no, they haven't, they haven't gotten it. <laughs> They're still like, Trump 2024. Trump, Donald, Donald Trump actually won the election. I, I, look, I'm still seeing posts like, Q and honors, some Q and honors, not all of them, because there's a lot of them who are like, oh my God, I, I, just, I was duped. And I've shown you those posts. And then there's like, you got to trust the plan. See, see, it actually happened. It happened over the weekend. You see, you see what happened is uh, Donald Trump's what we call a shadow president. See, uh, Donald Trump's actually really the president because he had already arrested uh, the deep state uh, and they, they arrested Joe Biden and all the congressmen. Uh, but they made a deal, see, they, they made a deal uh, that uh, Donald Trump is actually going to be in power, but we didn't want to freak out the American people and cause a civil war. So, so here's what we're going to do, okay? Here's what they're doing. Uh, so, so they actually let uh, Biden and the rest of them continue to walk free. But Donald Trump's got the real power. See, it actually happened, but you didn't actually see it, see? And that's why everything worked out exactly what we were saying. See, that's how it happened. You just didn't know it. Mm, the plan, it worked. See, you had to trust the plan. You just had to trust the plan. What? That's insane. But I, 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 I saw that. I also saw the, 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 the other conspiracy theory about this was like the, like lifted from the, from, from Face Off, literally, from the movie Face Off. Like, oh, they, they transferred the faces of Donald Trump and Joe Biden so that Joe Biden is actually 
not Joe Biden, but Donald Trump. And so he's in charge now. And then, and then Donald Trump has got Joe Biden's brain and will be arrested at some point. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's so insane. It's crazy. It's crazy. But they, you know, people, they, they believe it. They believe it. Some of them do. But others, of course, have gotten the memo and they're like, oh, my God. Because, again, there were millions of people who were, who were actually believing in QAnon. And they're like, I, oh, my God, I was, I, that, no, it didn't, nothing happened. And we're just, we just got lied to for years. And some of these people lost their family, uh, their, their, their friends because of these conspiracies. Uh, and so that realization has finally sunk in. Uh, and a lot of it had to do with, of course, nothing happening on, on, uh, on January 20th. Completely normal, kind of boring pomp and circumstance, all that stuff, uh, and and nothing happened. Uh, and then, of course, the fact that on his last day, Donald Trump didn't pardon any of these guys, uh, but instead pardoned people like Steve Bannon, uh, who literally stole all your money. Like, yes, he did the build a wall project and pocketed the cash, and didn't actually build the wall, <laughs> and so. Not all the not all the so-called brave patriots who you know actually donated to that cause. No, no, no. Steve Bannon stolen stealing your money, and so it's obvious that he dropped you and and, and all the rest of you, the QAnoners, uh, and 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 the so-called brave patriots, <clears throat> like a bad habit, and worse. Now you've got conservative media circles that, that are smearing the, these, these same people as Antifa. I've seen it, okay? Uh, oh, yeah, no, no, the people that were at the Capitol, they were actually secret Antifa infiltrators, not actual MAGA people. They're left-wing uh, infiltrators. They're anarchists. They're cuck soy boys who dressed up as Trump supporters. But they weren't actually Trump supporters. They're not actually conservatives. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. They're, they're uh, you know... They're, they're not us. That's, that's not us. Imagine being that person. Imagine who did all this, got in trouble, and then now to the same media outlets that were spreading the lies about Trump and QAnon and all that stuff uh, are now like calling you, posting your picture up and saying, what a cuck soy boy Antifa. Antifa. It, it's so ridiculous. How stupid do you feel right now? If you're one of those people, I mean, and, and, and if you do, if you realize your mistake, soak it in, soak it in and maybe like use that feeling, like do some re reflection, reevaluate your life and your choices. And you might want to also reevaluate your political alignment. Um, because if they were lying to you about this kind of stuff, imagine what else, what other things they've been lying to you about. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.